Hello everyone, uh, my name is Ashley Bachugo and I'm part of St. AJ's Young Adult Group. So as many of you know, this past Sunday we celebrated the beautiful end to the Easter season, uh, the Feast of Pentecost, when the Holy Spirit descended down upon the Lord's first followers, the Apostles and the Blessed Mother uh, in the upper room, and that we recognize to be the birthday of the Church. Um, it was through this sudden noise from the sky that St. Luke tells us in the Acts of the Apostles in the first reading um, from the Feast of Pentecost that there was this strong driving wind and through this strong driving wind that um, the Lord's followers were filled with the Holy Spirit. They spoke in tongues and then went out and had the courage to proclaim. On the Feast of Pentecost, uh, we too are also reminded that we are filled with this same Spirit uh, that dwells in our church um, and each of us as well today and not only today but every day um, and fills us with the graces to be renewed with the gift of life and to be renewed in this faith that we have in Jesus Christ. Um, unfortunately as we've tragically seen, as many of you know, um, that we've seen in our country this past week. Um, unfortunately, another one of God's beautiful children had the gift of his life brutally stolen from him. Um, and so I believe it is now more than ever that we not uh, stay complacent to this heartbreaking culture of death that permeates our society and that has permeated our society for so long um, and that we call upon the Lord's Spirit uh, to outpour on the world um, the, the graces of the Holy Spirit, to sanctify the world with the gifts of the Holy Spirit, especially those of fortitude and understanding and to offer us um, and all people on this earth the gifts of Christ's love so that we may reach out uh, to all of our brothers and sisters, to all of those right now, especially in our country, that are hurting and mourning from this brutal act of death that we experienced last week. And all those um, that who again are reminded um, of many of our brothers and sisters, our black brothers and sisters, whose lives uh, were also stolen from them. And so um, I invite you all to, call, to also call upon the Holy Spirit uh, to inspire us to be like the disciples on that first time when the Holy Spirit descended down upon them, who spoke, understood, uh, went out into the crowds and connected and spoke in the tongues of all those who were different from them. I believe that it is now more than ever um, and that I invite you, my brothers and sisters, to join me in praying, especially right now, Psalm 104, remembering that the earth is filled with the Lord's creatures and to humbly ask the Lord uh, to, re to pour forth his spirit, to renew um, so that we may all be recreated uh, and so that he may renew the face of the earth. Um, this past week, I beautifully read in a recent social media post um, that it is the breath that gives us life. And so now, more than ever, I call upon you and ask you um, to call upon the Holy Spirit to give us all that same courage and zeal um, that, the whole, that the disciples and the Lord's first followers had so that we um, may protect that same breath that brings life to all, especially to our brothers and sisters, our most vulnerable um, and, the mo and the least of our brothers and sisters, so that they too can breathe. 